Hi, welcome back to another Princess Connect video. My name is Lace and today I want to talk about overflowing or over scam, overkill scamming or overflow, sc whatever. We're doing things, right? We're doing things today. We're going to be taking advantage or aka abusing the mechanics known as carryover time and overkill or simultaneous attempts and all this jazz over here, right? I know that this is a very controversial topic, but like take this as an informational video only. I'm not saying we're doing it. I'm not saying we're not. So you make your own decision. I'm just giving you guys the information you can decide whether you want to use it or not. What I can tell you is that in CB2, even though people did the big sync attacks or did like overflow scamming or whatever, a lot of them didn't drop ranks. It's for those reasons. I think it's safe, but you know, let's, uh, I'm going to remove myself from the situation. I am not giving my opinion here. All right. So let's actually talk about this. So what's happening is that we are talking first about carryover time. So carryover time is essentially, if you finish off a monster, you actually get extra time for the next boss, right? So the carryover time is actually based on the amount of time that you have remaining when you defeated the monster, but not only that it also is actually based on the damage and you can actually read that right here if multiple clan members defeat the same monster simultaneously additional carry over time may be earned based on the amount of damage dealt but what i'm trying to say is is that if two people are attacking the same monster and then they actually defeat that same monster then you're going to get an additional carry over time this carry over mechanic was brought over from like cn and jp and whatever other servers right however after some extensive testing not just by myself but a lot of guilds actually it doesn't 100 work the same way and i will tell you guys is why it will make it pretty obvious. That's actually essentially the crux of it. You've got a monster. It's got like some X amount of HP left and you're putting in two people to go in and kill it. The outcome is that you're actually going to get a little bit more time than if only one person had gone in and cleared it and then another person goes in and clear it. So the other mechanic that we'll be talking about today that we need to take advantage of is overkill. So if you think back, we have two people attacking it, but what if one person releases first? So that is essentially the scenario that's been described here. So when one person finishes it first, the monster's HP is updated and you get an overkill. So again, here we've got carry over time calculated based on the total damage that you dealt and the monster's updated remaining HP. All of this can be plugged into an equation, but to be honest, I am not 100% sure of the equation. The equation that we brought over from CN on JP, like they just actually don't work. What I am kind of confident about is that when you kill a boss, you will get at least 10 seconds back. In the other servers, you actually get 20 seconds back and that's just one of the changes that Crunchyroll or Psy Games has made. All right, so that's enough talking. So I've just got a picture here of the Needle Creeper. This is a lat one boss. When I saw this HP, this was actually the perfect time to do a scam. So just from here on out, I'll just be referring to this process as an overkill or overflow scamming. So you see that the remaining boss's HP is at 1.1 mil, 1.13 mil. The amount of damage we're doing to this per person was about 1 mil, let's say about that much. Now what happens is if I put in like this 1 mil comp, right? And then I bring it down to 0 0.13, so 138k. This next person then comes along and has to hit this 138k and then they have to then go to the next boss. Because this person's comp does 1 mil, if they only do 138k here, they're going to get a little bit of time back, maybe like a minute 20 or a minute 25 or something for the next boss. However, with overkill scamming or sync attacks or whatever, we're actually going to try scam that 138k. And what I mean by that is that I'm going to try to make it so that the person who has to carry across from this boss to the next boss will actually get a minute 30. So let me just try summarize that because it's a little bit hard to understand. I have two people dealing 1 mil damage each. The boss only has 1.138 mil HP left. If one person goes in, then the boss is left with 138k HP. The second person would then have to clear that 138k HP and then use the remainder of the attack on the next boss. When that second person goes to attack the next boss, they will not have the full minute 30 because that second person spent some time on this boss clearing that 138k. What we are going to do now is we're going to make it so that the person one is going to dump that one mil in. However, the person two is going to be able to get that 138k as well as the full minute 30. So in my eyes, if we can succeed in doing that, what we've done is that we've scammed 138 k from this boss and that's why it's called scamming because we're taking what we shouldn't be taking i know it sounds really awesome and way too good to be true but there are a lot of downsides to this and you got to think every time you do this a lot of the times to be honest it's not strictly better and it's a bit too sweaty so to achieve the outcome that i just described one person doing one mil the other person doing 138k and getting their 1 minute 30 back. This is what you need to do. So two people enter the boss and they will both see 1.138 mil HP. You then get both of them to pause at about like 10 seconds left. The person with more damage releases first. So that means that they go on and finish the boss. After that person has finished the boss, the second person then goes on to finish the boss as well. If everything went well, then that first person will have done 1 mil and the second person will have done 138k because when the second person exits, the game is gonna be like, actually, this boss is not at 1.138 mil 
HP anymore. It is actually now at 138k HP and you've just done only 138k HP. Based on our calculations on our back end magical formula, you now also get a minute 30 back. That is the best outcome. However, we cannot always get this. So there's actually a little bit of math that comes into this. So what we really need to work out is the stronger attacker and the difference in HP after he attacks. So let's say the first attacker has a one mil comp, right? So what that means is that the remainder will be 138k. Now, what you need to do is take a ratio here. So the ratio from like CN or the older servers used to be about like 4.3 or 5 or whatever, right? And what I mean by the ratio is that the 138k, that remainder, whatever that result is, is the minimum amount of damage that you need to get a full scam. So for simplicity's sake, let's say that the full scam requires a multiplier of 5. What that means is that I take the remainder 138k and then I multiply that by 5, which gives 690k. That means that the second attacker needs to have at least 690k to be able to get the full minute 30 back. However, what we've discovered on the global server is that a multiplier of five is not enough. We are still testing it. I'm honestly not sure. I think we need like a multiplier of like eight or nine. What that means is that that first person has to go in with one mil comp, bring it down to 138k and 138k multiply that by eight. And that means that our second comp needs to be about 1.1 mil. So I really hope that makes sense because like it's a little bit hard to get your head around, but like it really isn't that hard. If I was able to give a quick summary of this, what it would be is that the difference of the first person that releases their attack, you need the second attack to be eight times that difference. That's actually a great summary of it. Some people are going to say it's 4.3. Some people are going to say it's five. Some people are going to say it's nine. Right now I've been running with eight, but like, I don't know. I feel like the formula is a little bit screwy right now. I guess I want to talk about like, you know, when you should use this, the downsides of it, because there are a lot of downsides, to be honest. Yes, in theory, if you could achieve what I just described, it is actually only beneficial. It's all good. However, one of the biggest things you need to think about is that you're carrying over that second attack who will be getting that full minute 30 back. Will they be able to do enough DPS on this boss and be suitable for the next boss? For example, your comp that does one mil damage on this flower may only do like 500k damage on the next, or even vice versa. Your comp for the next boss might only be able to do like 500k damage on this one. That is already a massive added complexity. And I'm pretty sure you guys already know, like this is a really tough CB. This doesn't mean that you can't hold onto that second overflow comp. So the minute 30 scammer and actually use that comp on another boss. But what it does mean is that that person is actually locked out of using their other teams. If that was their first attack of the day, that means that maybe they're going to miss like one of the critical teams going into one of the bosses, right? I don't know about you guys, but for boss five, we have like one or two good teams. And if this person, like if they miss it, then they, there's nowhere else to put a good comp. The other thing about this is that a lot of the scenarios are actually a little bit unreasonable. Like I was trying to say, if I was assuming a multiplier of eight, that is 1.1 mil damage. I don't think anyone can even hit 1.1 mil at this point. The majority of you are probably not going to be hitting like 1.1 mil. So like I'll give a more realistic example maybe then. Let's say the boss has 500k HP left and then you have attack one who can do let's say 450k. And what that means is that the remainder is going to be 50k. What you also have is an attack two, which also does 450k. If we take attack two and then divide that by the remainder, what we get is 450k divided by 50. And so we'll have a multiplier of nine. So it's this kind of scenario that I would guarantee that attack two would be able to get their full one minute 30 overflow. So if you guys can see how this plays out, the boss HP goes from 500k down to 50k. But then after the second attack is released, the second attack will do 50k damage and have one minute 30 left, which is a full attack. If you imagine a multiplier of like, let's say five instead, that makes it so much easier. So what I could do instead is if I wanted a multiplier of five, then I could actually use a 400k attack for this one. And then I could have this one, a remainder of 100k, right? So boss starts with 500k HP, attack one does 400k, we have a remainder of 100k. What this means is that I would only need attack two of 500k to be able to get the full scam. If I go over here, 500k, which is attack two divided by 100k is a multiplier of five, right? So that checks out. What that means is that it's gonna go from 500k down to 400k after the first attack. And then after the second attack is released, the second attack will do 100k and have one minute 30 left. So in the end, we will scam 100k. Guys, I feel like I'm teaching a math lesson here, but it's like, you know, it's, some of this is pretty interesting stuff. It's with a multiplier of five that this stuff is more feasible. However, in reality, what really happens is that if I let this play through, what happens is we actually don't get the full scam. We maybe get like one minute 20 instead. So because we only get one minute 20, what we have to do is that we have to boost this multiplier. So we need to make it a multiplier of like, I say about nine, eight or nine to be able to get that one minute 30. And when you have a multiplier of nine and you're capped by how much you can do, you're really looking at 
that remainders of like maybe like 50 or 70k or something. And guys, this is the reason why I say this stuff is not really 100% worth it. You're scamming 50k from one boss. You would get way more damage if you just timelined or I don't know, like turn on your crit hacks or something. I don't condone hacking. It was just a joke, guys. Please don't cancel me. But for real, like for some people, 50k, that's like an unlucky crit or two. Adding on to the fact that you might be screwing up your comp or you don't have access to your next two comps, like there are a lot of downsides you need to consider. But that's kind of it in a nutshell. I hope the exercise has actually helped you. I think like putting it out like this is like, it's very visual, right? And I hope that actually makes sense. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap up the video here. I'm sorry it's been so late, but like, I just, yeah, a lot of stuff has been happening. Um, very sad stuff. I got a secret message for you guys. Give me that 50k. If it's worth it, if you don't think it's worth it, say it's not worth it. To be honest, a lot of clans know about this and they're like, it's not worth it. Sometimes I think to myself, it's not worth it. Actually, a lot of the times I think to myself, it's not worth it. But yeah, so that's the secret. Oh, I guess it's more a question now. Give me that 50k or it's not worth it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. All right, guys, again, I hope this video did make sense. If it has helped you or if it's like remotely entertaining, I guess, consider leaving like a subscribe or a follow or a, 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 a other stuff. But otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.